Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. I love it. They even had that gym. Look, it has that werewolf. Who is that? Julian. Count Fabulous. Mom, what's up? I'm going to Oh. I guess it's her pet's name. Mom? What? They're only. <laughs> we gotta wait until we make some money on our YouTube channel. No. Wah, wah, wah. Oh my god. Okay, guys, we just got back from grocery shopping. And this is the current state of my kitchen. And this is what it usually looks like on Tuesdays when we get back. Cause it's like a mad dash. My husband has to go to work, so it's a mad dash to put. Sorry, you're so sideways. Mad dash to put everything away, <clears throat> and we did our chicken salad. So I had to hurry up and make chicken salad so he could eat and go to work. So everybody's done with lunch. Jerry's still currently eating hers and watching some Tom and Jerry, and he will make. Some more chicken salad. This bag will not open. There it goes. I'm not gonna do anything with that. I'm just gonna freeze that. I freeze my bones and make chicken broth. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the meat off this part. And this just has the wing and the leg bones because we already stripped the meat off them. And I gave some to the cats. <clears throat> just probably some more. Look at there. Did she see the meat? Oh, there was a bunch of meat on this one. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> anyway. So I'm going to pick the rest of the meat off here. And then mix a little more chicken salad up. And we'll eat that tomorrow for lunch. And then get my kitchen cleaned in order. I bought some plants on clearance. So they were like, you know, the ones that aren't looking that great. But Mom, do you have any for her? Boo. Put her in the we missed Boo's birthday, y'all. It was April 19th. And I was checking my email and it was like a, from her vet. It was like a happy birthday, Boo. And I was like, oh, crab. I hope that wasn't a bone. Is that a bone? No. Anyway. <clears throat>
coming. Hi guys, so I'm getting ready to cook dinner and I figured I'd film this because I've made this time and time again on my other channel, um, Sterling Style. So I figured I'd make it here. Um, it's one of our favorites. We seem to have this a lot in the summer and we haven't had it in quite some time. My meat is still a little frozen, that's okay. So I've got some chicken breasts. I've got three of them. I'm going to go ahead and add them. Did I say I was making chicken nachos? I don't know if I said that. Right. I will cut those up a little finer. Actually, what I do is just put slits down the middle. But I need to cut up onion and bell pepper. Right over here and the first thing I do is I wash my bell peppers so I'll give them a good scrub now so this is how I cut my bell peppers and have been doing it, I don't know how many years, 10 years, I don't know. So I just, that way I can take the lid and it's got all the seeds attached to it and then I just peel it off so I'm only throwing away this much. Then I usually take this part and pull these out just throw them away. Same to this. So there used to be, well, I guess the restaurant is still there, um, but there, it was a, a Mexican restaurant in North Carolina, and. We used to frequent it probably, I don't know, maybe once a month, maybe, I don't know. It was way back when. Um, but they, my husband got their chicken nachos and they were so good. So that was the whole reason we kept going there was for the chicken nachos. And then um, their chicken nachos had peppers and onions and like shredded up <clears throat> um, chicken and then it had uh, some tomatoes and it was you know just a little spicy so I decided to try to mimic it and so this is what I came up with this uh, recipe um, so basically, I just chop up some peppers and onions. They don't have to be fine. Um, I have used the bagged peppers and onions, um, frozen ones, and they work good, uh, but fresh is always better. Um, in fact, I looked for a bag of the peppers and onions at Walmart, and they had one bag, but it was open, so I was like, well... But 
And you just cut them up to however the consistency you want them. We like some big, some small, and then I'm going to do the same with an onion. And I'm gonna go ahead and add these. these peppers in here I am going to like I said slice the breasts I just put slits in them just so that the um, peppers and onions can get in there and it's easier to shred them so I'm going to go ahead and cut up my onion again if you don't like peppers or onions you know you might just, I don't know, cut them smaller. I think it needs it because it flavors the, oof, it flavors the chicken. And this is a good crock pot meal to like, just, you know, have it cook all day. Your house will smell amazing. It'll smell like peppers and onions and, um, but I will say, uh, you will have a lot of juice towards, you know, when it's done cooking. And I usually just take a bit of that juice out. Um, and then after, you don't want to take all the juice out because you want, you don't want it to be dry. You don't want your chicken to be dry and your stuff to be dry. So I'm just going to cut those like that and I'll cut this this way okay so there's our peppers and onions before I dump them in here I'm gonna go ahead and I just cut a couple slits in my chicken and what I do is I just kind of Split them open and stick some peppers in there. I'm just trying to make sure the flavors, like, it'll be flavorful for sure, but. Okay. I'm just gonna. Almost took his pepper away from him. Just put them in there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and dump our onions in here. And you could add whatever you want to this. Um, you know, if you have, you want green chilies, that would probably be really good in it. Yeah, something is real quick. And now you're going to add a can of Rotel. So I go ahead and drain my Rotel. You can also add like, um, if you had any leftover salsa like you wanted to use up, we've done that before. Um, you can add actually add like a can of tomatoes so. so we got all that in there we're going to add a little bit of seasoning on here we got some salt going in i just give it a good coating of salt of pepper if I had a can of chilies, I would totally add it. I don't think I do. You could also add um, some taco seasoning. Which, I don't know if I have any open. If I do, I will go ahead and add some pork rice. And no, I don't. I 
I got a little fajita seasoning. Maybe I'll do a little of that. Um, but if you just wanted to leave it just as is, like with the salt and pepper and the peppers and onions and Nortel, it tastes totally fine. I'm just going to add a little sprinkly, sprinkly of fajita. You can use fajita mix. You can use taco seasoning. I guess it's some green chilies would be good. Some salsa if you had salsa. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. I'm going to let this cook for four to six hours on high. Um, it all depends on how fast your crock pot. It's three o'clock almost. This will probably be done at 6.30. So about three and a half hours is that right I don't know I'll check it it might not be done until 7 quite honestly it might take the full four it just depends my crock pot cooks stuff really fast so usually if it says like if it says cook something for four hours it usually only takes like maybe three and a half if it says to cook it for six hours it's usually done in like five hours I don't know if it's just this crock pot this brand whatever it is but it just seems to cook things really fast so I have to watch stuff especially because you don't want your chicken to get dry or your your stuff to get overdone um, I used it Sunday and I made ribs pork ribs and they were I'll be honest but they were a little dry because they did get overcooked because we did start it earlier than we normally would so I had to turn it off um, like an hour or so before dinner was even ready but that's dinner, and I'm going to do some dishes. You can give us some? What is it? It's chickens! <laughs> There's some eggs. It's not. Oh, the eggs. You want to show them the chicken coop. Mom. To let them see how it painted up. Mom. Let me fix the door. Can we go pick some eggs for them? But look at here, guys. We've got curtains. So, I put the... Put that thing back up. But I didn't like it, and I'm like, you know, this, all the rain, shields the rain. I like your curtains. Of course every chicken coop needs a curtains. Anyway, and then we got this. Go back up here. What? I want to put a latch shovel. on here so it will latch. Well, we got that painted. We painted all this. Now, there's carpenter bees in there. So I put some stuff in there. Sprinkled it all around. Hopefully get rid of them. Okay guys, so you can see there's just a little bit of water in there. I'm going to water. Um, yeah, you know. I'm going to drain some of that out and then I'm going to shred up my chicken and we just serve it over chips with cheese I'm just going to use my ladle to get some of the juice out it's okay if I got some of the 
peppers and onions. You want a root beer full out? No, I need a, a straw. Do we own any straws? There's probably some metal ones in there. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye guys. You can see a bridge, Mom.